What up, everybody? Can beat the back again, and that's right, the M10 GMC, the gun motor carriage. Most of us know it as the Wolverine. Now, uh, it stands in unique in a unique place in the tech tree because, of course, it obviously goes to the Hellcat. But the second thing is its battle rating of 3.3. The same as the Sherman I've been using, 3.3. And the Sherman 105 is 4.0. So this is higher than this uh, uh, Wolverine. But the Wolverine has a better gun than this Sherman. This Sherman, 3.7. But it's the same gun as this Sherman. Same gun as this Sherman, I think, as well. So this has a better gun than these three. I think this one gets a better... Nope. Still gets that crappy 110 at 10 meters. 110 millimeters penetration at 10 meters. The Wolverine starts off with 127. And then you upgrade it to 155. So, yes. I'll take that any day of the week. And it's probably going to have a slow turret, but, you know, let's play it. I was well on the way to our Hellcat, you know that, so. Alright, I think everything's ready to go do, do, do that. Okay. So, Alright, here we go. I don't have anything upgraded at all. I kind of like the way the machine gun sits on top. The guy would be sitting on the back there. But, uh... Oh, watch out. Uh... Whoa, that is a slow moving turret. Wow. Turret upgrade can be a simple Oh, that is cool. Look at that guy. Sitting back there. And four water cooled machine guns. That's pretty cool. You see how it's water cooled because it has some big cylinders around the uh, around the, uh, the barrels. Yeah, so this is not a dog fighting tank, this is a complete tank destroyer. In the fact that this turret is a slow moving motherfucker. some experience for our tank crew right there. First shot out, first kill. That helps to like a tank. Critical hit. Oh, hit his ammo there. That is a SU. Oh, that's an M18 Hellcat. So, we hurt our big brother there. Now, please stop. This thing doesn't move particularly well off ground and it's really I have to say, this is the slowest moving turret I've ever used, even if it feels slower than a fucking KB-2. And that is fucking saying something. Because actually, I'm actually saying something. It has to be actually saying something, because you get what I'm saying. <laughs> well, alright, usually I come up here and I get fucking wasted. Oh, that's a good hit on the M3 Lee. Put in another one in his ass. There you go. I got the uh, helicopter. Or the helicopter. They barely invented helicopters by then. Ooh, bad reverse speed too. But I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna use my uh, my uh, attack bomber. Basically, by the bomber. So uh, I'm just gonna help secure a. I have A right now, so I'm just going to drop shit. Oh, and it's the stem of it. The IL-2. Is it the stem of it, or is it just the IL-2? I can't fucking remember. But, I am going to fucking say, oh, fuck you. And, fuck you. Alright. Uh, my bombs didn't do shit. 
bad thing about them having that glare back there is you can't fucking see them. They're too fucking late. Oh shit. Alright, we move a little left. Got him. Oh yeah, good side shot, side turret shot. Fucking A. Eat it, motherfucker. Eat it. I've kind of flattened my armor because I'm down this hill. Oh. Oh, that's a good hit. He's all kinds of fucked up. All kinds of dead crew. Fuck you. Again, how does that not just me? And his first shot. And I'm stuck. So guess what? I can't move, I can't repair. Uh, I hope this doesn't break the gun and kill my crew. Okay. My engine is completely knocked out. Uh, I got hit from behind somewhere. Probably that T-34 there. Ooh, this turret hurt. Look how bad this is. I can't fucking move. This is as good as it gets for right now, people. Right, I just got my turret ready over here. So, yeah, that's a bad disadvantage because with that glare, the sun glare back there, you can't see them. You, you can't really spot them. They have to be spotting you. Or they'll spot you faster. Whoa, motherfucker. I can't get the gun barrel out. I'm just rolling forward, I don't have any engine, I'm just using my momentum to get me into a better position. Oh damn it, I was trying to use the uh, attack aircraft again. And you can still use the gun even though the gun's red. Gun barrel up. But the bad thing is, if you drive in the cap circle, I can repair it. The issue there is, I can't drive in the damn cap circle. Why? My fucking engine's knocked out. I'm just gonna go for it. And if I flip over, oh, I'm sorry. As soon as I move. Yeah, well, that was inevitable, wasn't it? Ah! Now I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Alright, I'm gonna 105 y'all's asses. So, that's a big step up, that, that Wolverine. What's that? Confirming fire. The uh, that, uh, the Wolverine's gun is just a big step up, man. That's just... Coming across it, it doesn't really instill fear, it just instills... Respect, really. That's the best thing you can say. It instills, instills respect. That's one that, uh... 75 mm it gets it instead of the... German one that did. So much better. Buddy, sorry about the luck. There we go. Need another Sherman. We know how to do it. Alright, we're gonna watch here. I'm gonna watch this side. Oh, look at this bush! This is a fucking. Your old army push here. 
old school combined arm fucking push here. Look at this shit. I wonder if you could tell somebody if their engine knocked out, if you could tell them to pull them to their destination. Ow! I should have pulled off pulled out sideways like that. Fucking shit. And as I was saying, respect that the fucking thing that took me out. Look at that. Didn't hit anything and then knocks me out with one shot. I did that. I had the same shot going through the fucking fuel tanks and it's not the one shot. Oh, I got a few backup. This tank, I'll, I'll take it. Hold the cord, fuck it. I spawn in sideways for a. No, repeat. He spawns in to get stuck, which is always fantastic. I didn't buy these backup, by the way. They were given us a, like a battle to war trophy type thing. Okay, I mean, stood there. He's out. Let's try to help this guy out. They see how I can't really see him? Oh, you bitch, I got a fucking heavy bomber attack. Oh, that's gonna kill him. That gets to me right now. I knocked one of his, fucked up one of his guns, there. attack don't even get bombs, but the fuses for the bombs are smaller. Like this is a slow bitch. Hopefully nobody's coming out to defend. Nope. Heavy tank. That's what you want to go after. Both dropping in on that guy. Come on, get him. Got him. <laughs> That's satisfying. Alright, so we got a couple guys over here. Oh, fuck you. Pull up in time. Alright. Couple artillery strikes out. This is basically free experience for getting the battle trophy and allowing me to get free, uh, you know, 
extra damage and extra XP that I wouldn't have earned without these backups. I don't buy them at all, so I think I have two more backups than this. I got a few playing backups and shit. I haven't played play as much lately. I think I might here soon. Still assist, I'll take it. And they're gonna have to push, so they're gonna have to get desperate. So this is the time in a match that when the enemy gets desperate, you take advantage of their desperation. So, just wait for them to make the mistake and you pounce on it right there. Oh, I can't get a shot on them. Oh, there's a side turret shot. <laughs> didn't go through but nah what the fuck do you expect so and the first thing you do is you always upgrade your damage your repair ability and your fire extinguisher ability holy shit we did pretty fucking well didn't we silently did well so so we pulled that back after kind of being fucked up and it was almost over so there's a hate M18 Hellcat research. Oh, we finished the parts off. I had a times 15 per, uh, percent for my uh, my victory, my reward. So, uh, that's right. They know it's weird. 920 all these experiences, and this is only 620, 620, 620. So I'd say turret drive. Yeah, that's the damn sure. That's the next thing. And then fire extinguisher, then this, because this this gun's pretty, you know, it's very accurate. That 75 millimeter the Sherman I found, I've done well in. So yeah, so I've, I've been running this, so I got a little extra help with my XP. I need to get my premium account going again, but War Thunder's been uh, lately, so I don't know if I want to give them money. I don't want to reward bad behavior type of shit. So that's the uh, Wolverine for now. I'll probably have another episode of me playing with the Wolverine. I like it so far. It's a good gun. It's good damaging. And the side shots on that fucking KV-1, though, that was... See, I don't know why. I, I shoot in front of a fucking tank. One shot. Boom. I shoot at the side of it. Right in the ammo. No fucking ammo rack. No fuel tank erupts into a fire. And I get fucked up. But if I would have been able to fix that, I, I would have been able to continue fight, fighting on this thing. So the issue is, look at these the ammo you have right on the turret and this turret is very thinly armored yeah so 30 millimeters good gun mantle though like if you face the enemy that's good gun mantle so decent armor effective especially if you slope it but so that's it for now i'll talk to you guys later i gotta do more recordings and you'll see them later today or throughout the next couple of days all right peace this episode brought to you by javawhacked.com the official sponsor of the can bean dip youtube channel